What happens when you take the world's biggest, most efficient, and environmentally friendly jet engine and throw it into reality? General Electric proudly launched the GE9X, claiming the title, Biggest Engine in the World. But the situation changes when Rolls-Royce CEO states, Hold up, GE, we've got something even bigger and better. And just like that, a jet engine of epic proportions was born, promising to change the aviation world forever. But wait, what is that engine? How can it outperform GE and change the aviation world? Let's find out the truth right here. To see what this huge engine is, looking at the factors driving its creation is essential. Over the past decade, the aviation industry has been pushing hard to produce engines that are not only fuel efficient, but also environmentally friendly. Concerns about climate change and rising carbon emissions have intensified, especially as the UN predicts aviation emissions could triple by 2050. This has led many airlines to shift towards sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, derived from sources like waste cooking oil and algae instead of crude oil. Airbus, leading the charge with a commitment to use SAF across its fleet by 2030, has further fueled competition among engine giants like Pratt and Whitney, Rolls-Royce, and G Aerospace. Each company is now racing to develop engines that not only deliver power, but are also eco-conscious, ready to meet the demands of aviation's future. Are you interested in learning about the different types of SAF and how they impact engine performance? With a dream about environmental progress, companies are increasingly joining forces. CFM International, a joint venture between GE Aerospace and Safran and International Aero Engines, which includes Rolls-Royce, Pratt and Whitney, and others, are all working together to lead the eco-friendly charge in aviation. The demand for efficient, sustainable solutions is back in full swing. After the unprecedented demand shock of 2020, we're now facing a supply shock, with numerous engines from different manufacturers now available. This signals a major step forward in fuel efficiency and environmental compatibility. Pratt & Whitney's PW1100G, especially the PD135GJM variant, is a standout, offering a 16% fuel consumption reduction and a 75% reduction in noise, setting new standards for the Airbus A321 NIO. Meanwhile, CFM International's Leap 1. A engine for the Airbus A320. NEO has quickly become a top performer in both efficiency and environmental friendliness. Not to be outdone, GE Aerospace's GE9X designed for the Boeing 777X was once the largest engine of its kind before Rolls-Royce introduced the groundbreaking Ultrafan. That's right, it is named Ultrafan. This dynamic shift in engine technology is a glimpse into the future of aviation more powerful, cleaner, and more sustainable than ever before. Meanwhile, Rolls-Royce has faced many challenges with their strongest Trent XWB-97, which launched in 2014 and is equipped for Airbus A350-1000. Although it has a big thrust, it lacks friendly environment factors, a more and more important demand. To adapt, this manufacturer introduced the Ultrafan engine in 2014 and initialized testing with 100% sustainable fuel in 2023, creating a new mark in the aviation industry. So what makes the Ultrafan so special? Well, it's not just big, it's huge. With a diameter of 140 inches, it's even bigger than the G9X, the previous record holder. That's nearly 4% more in size, making it the largest engine in the world. But size isn't the only thing Ultrafan is showing off. This powerhouse might just change the way we fly, thanks to its superior performance, lower emissions, and overall efficiency. This engine is a turbofan engine with key parts like a fan, compressor, combustion chamber, and turbine. The fan sucks in air and splits it into two streams. One gets compressed, mixed with fuel, and ignited to create power. It is proud of a super high bypass ratio of 15.1, thanks to its massive fan and smaller core. This not only boosts efficiency, but also makes the engine lighter and simpler. The manufacturer even added a special gearbox to connect the fan to the turbine, letting the fan spin at a different speed, which further improves efficiency. During testing, this gearbox cranked out 64 megawatts of power, setting a new record in aviation. Talk about breaking barriers. The name Ultrafan itself is enough to tell you that the fan is the most important and impressive part of this engine. The Ultrafan fan is made from a carbon titanium material that is super durable and lightweight, capable of withstanding high temperatures and heavy loads, while also being resistant to corrosion and wear. 
The combustion chamber is also specially designed to save fuel and reduce emissions. Ultrafan is 25% more fuel efficient than the first Trent engine and can cut fuel consumption by up to 20% per flight compared to other engines. So how can you truly understand the power of Rolls-Royce Ultrafan? The answer is simple. Compare it to other beastly engines on the market. This is a geared turbofan engine with a variable fan system, which allows the fan and turbine to operate at their optimal speeds. The fan blades are made of carbon fiber, boosting fuel efficiency by 10% compared to the Trent XWB, and they can even change their angle to optimize each stage of the flight. The engine also improves fuel consumption by up to 25% compared to its Trent predecessor. And here's the fun part. It has successfully passed testing with 100% sustainable aviation fuel. This is a game changer for Rolls-Royce, as their other engines have also shown compatibility with sustainable aviation fuel. Now, that's all impressive, but how does Ultrafan stack up against the competition? Pratt & Whitney was the first to bring gearbox fan technology to aircraft engines. General Electric and CFM have also embraced this gear fan tech in their Rise engines using the innovative open fan architecture. Both companies are taking things a step further with advanced ceramic composites, which allow engines to run at higher temperatures for better performance. Pratt and & Whitney and CFM will need to increase their bypass ratio by shrinking the core engine. Of course, Rolls-Royce isn't falling behind. Ultrafan is built with lightweight materials to keep it efficient and nimble. This new engine, Warriors, also features an internal gearbox that lets the fan rotate slower than the rest of the core. Then there's the PW1100G from Pratt and & Whitney and the Leap 1A from CFM International, both stellar in fuel efficiency and eco-friendliness. But let's not forget General Electric's GE9X. With its impressive bypass ratio of 10, 1, and 110,000 pounds of thrust at takeoff offering 10% better fuel efficiency than its predecessor. The GE9X used to hold the thrust record at 134,000 pounds. However, Ultrafan takes the lead with its giant fan diameter, high bypass ratio, fuel efficiency, emission reduction, and flexibility. Sure, the GE9X is more powerful, but Ultrafan is the future, capable of running 100% on sustainable fuel. Even though it's facing challenges, such as a hefty price tag of around $30 million per unit and a lengthy development process, it is set for a bright future. Rolls-Royce could seize the opportunity while Boeing and Airbus don't have any new aircraft ready for release. This gives this engine the chance to make its mark before the next generation of aircraft arrives. However, rolling out this revolutionary engine hasn't been without its challenges. Initially, the new engine was designed to rival Pratt and Whitney's geared turbofan, promising to scale down and fit smaller aircraft. Boeing's strategy seemed flawless from the start. They plan to install the Ultrafan on their new mid-range aircraft, which would help lift their finances. But by 2022, Boeing's CEO announced a delay in developing this mid-market plane for at least a few years, waiting for the next-gen engines to mature. This news struck Rolls-Royce hard. They'd waited to see Boeing's new aircraft take to the skies by 2025 with Ultrafan as a right-hand support. Second, what makes Rolls-Royce stand out is its weakness. They made its mark with the RB211 in Trent engine lines, powering wide-body aircraft like the Boeing 787, Airbus A330, A340, A350, and A380. However, this strategy exposed a weakness. Rolls-Royce does not produce engines for the narrow-body segment, a market with significantly higher sales. This reliance on the wide-body sector became a major gap, as the company missed out on profits from the narrow-body market. This can be considered the first challenge. In 2011, Rolls-Royce lost a considerable advantage when Pratt & Whitney acquired shares in the V2500 project, an engine program serving the Airbus A320 and other aircraft, where Rolls-Royce previously held a 30% stake alongside its partners. This setback meant the company lost profits from maintenance and repairs on these engines. Even more concerning, the Trent 1000 engine faced critical issues on the Boeing 787, resulting in grounding and billions in losses. Just as recovery was beginning, the COVID-19 pandemic further strained this company's finances, forcing it to rethink its long-term strategy for the future. Will the difficulties make them step back? Of course, with a strong manufacturer like Rolls-Royce, despite all these hurdles, 
the company is trying full speed ahead with its ambitious plan to revolutionize aviation through the ultrafan engine. In mid-November 2023, Airbus fired up this huge machine, the world's largest engine, to full power at Rolls-Royce's testbed 80 facility in Derby, UK. With a 140-inch diameter, it's an absolute heavyweight, even larger than GE's GE9X at 134 inches. The fan cranks out a whopping 64 megawatts, delivering over 85,000 pounds of thrust with the potential to hit 110,000 pounds during flight, making it suitable for both narrow and wide-body aircraft. Moreover, Rolls-Royce is pressing forward with its master plan. Ultrafan is set for its first flight test in Arizona this year on a Boeing 747 and could receive certification by 2027 with commercial use beginning around 2030. This manufacturer is out to shake up the way we fly with Ultrafan's super-efficient, eco-friendly design. They're also diving into hybrid electric and hydrogen technologies for cleaner flights, with eyes on quadrupling profits by 2027. It's safe to say they're aiming sky-high, literally and figuratively. But what makes Rolls-Royce so special this time? Well, the British engine maker is putting forward its unique three-shaft engine design. This setup uses multiple rear turbines to drive concentric shafts, allowing different engine components to spin at their own optimized speeds. And that's just the beginning. Rolls-Royce has also introduced a new lean burn system to reduce harmful emissions. On top of that, their engineers pushed boundaries during testing on May 20th, 23, hitting a compression ratio of 71 and a bypass ratio of 14.1. Just for perspective, the Trent engine has a compression ratio of 51 and a bypass ratio of 10.1. So will these revolutionary designs and features allow Rolls-Royce to surpass its rivals? They are challenging General Electric with the world's largest engine, but that's only phase one. If they can miniaturize the ultrafan down to fit narrow body jets like the A320 and 737, Rolls-Royce could be looking at a massive profit surge, especially with claims that the ultrafan can deliver up to 25% better fuel efficiency than competitors. This might just be the game changer they've been aiming for. Thanks for watching. Please leave your thoughts below. Hope you always have safe flights.